Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Inside DFW. I'm Brooke Chavez and I'm here at the Dallas International Film Festival. And my goodness, we got some great interviews with some upcoming stars. You do not want to miss this. There's no great city in the world that doesn't have a great film festival. And if you really look at it, film is the gateway to the arts, and it's America's art form, and more people on any given night will go to a movie than will go to the symphony and the opera and the theater all combined. So it's very important to have a film festival to get the rest of the people involved in the arts. And it's also a gateway for education, because children will learn through film. So it's, it's incredible for Dallas to have that, and to support the local film community. You guys are so young, how did you guys get your start in, in film? Well, I started off uh, doing a lot of uh, theater and musicals uh, in Dallas and at my church and everything. And, uh, you know, I just fell in love with acting and uh, eventually I just worked, worked as hard as I could for it and uh, got an agent and then from there just auditioning until finally something broke through. And here you are on the red carpet, right? <laughs> it's amazing. you wanted to be an actor? I just wanted to be an actor. It was great. So tell me about what your roles are in this movie and why it is that these Dallas folks need to come and see it. Well, the, the, the film is a documentary. It's a road trip movie and a uh, comedy. But uh, we, uh, you know, in short, I just generally describe it as like the Muppet movie but with real people as a documentary because uh, I just I film real people all heading out to California uh, following, chasing their dreams yeah and uh, with a school bus and, and, and chickens what is an event like this what does it mean for not only the film industry but for Dallas Fort Worth so I just think it's bringing awareness I just saw on like a local level but what it does is when you like tap that in this is bringing it on more of an international I, I think hence one of the reasons they changed it from you know, the past term to DIFF, you know, the International Film Festival. I think it's going to bring a lot of notoriety. I think we started getting, you're going to see a lot of more actors and claimed people coming in, you know, as we already have acclaimed people in. But I think it's definitely going to do a lot for, uh, for Dallas, the city of Dallas and the arts. The city of Dallas is on the verge, man. It's on the verge. The arts are really elevating to a totally new level. You know, Fort Worth has been shaking us for a long time. Now Dallas is coming on its own, so it's very exciting. You know, I think you always want as an actor to do something that's creative and new and um, and I just thought that um, the movie was so unique and I thought what an exciting opportunity to be able to create this crazy character in Lucy and what a challenge and it was my first time sort of co-carrying a film with Colin, you know, I've done a lot of supporting roles which has been wonderful but it was really exciting to see how it would be kind of getting out there and being at work every day and doing my thing and sort of really feeling the arc of the movie and um, it was just such a pleasure and joy and then I was exhausted for about six months after it. So. it this is this is kind of surreal. I saw you come around the corner. I said, I didn't know Whoopi Goldberg was going to be here. What movie is she? I, so now, now you know, you do the whole Robin Williams. Now, 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 do you actually go into New York comedy clubs and steal their jokes too? Oh God, yes, all day long. That's, that's right. His name was Robin because he was robbing everybody's stuff. You know. I think it was important. I had actually worked with Rachel before on another film called uh, Mind of Its Own, and uh, man, she was quick and witty and uh, she had talked to me about this film and sent me the script and I really fell in love with it and uh, it was just such a sweet movie and had so many wonderful touching moments that uh, yeah when, when she asked me to produce I actually couldn't really say no actually she didn't give me an option I just I was for, it was forced upon me. Now tell me a little bit about women's in film. Uh, we're, an, we're an incredible organization we're non-profit and what it is is we're comprised of women and we love men too viewers. Yes. Yes, but what we do is we promote networking events. We give back to our community. We always do a PSA every year. To join Women in Film or just to support us, it's www.wifdallas.org. You see how prepared she was? She was ready. She, that, that's called hitting your mark. It's like I have it memorized or something. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's right? like, like you say it all the time. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your new movie and your role. Super. Uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's hilarious. It's a great movie starring Rain Wilson, Ellen Page. Uh, it's, it was a blessing to get to be a part of it, man. Everybody was so great, gracious, cool. 
I uh, play one of Kevin Bacon's henchmen, and I uh, uh, don't let your grandmothers watch it. I just got to tell you that. I think it's a great thing for Dallas. I'm glad we could pre present this. We're bringing films from all over the world. Uh, 26 countries represented, 170 films. I, I, I think it's a great thing. A city like Dallas deserves and needs something international like this. And we have a lot of other film festivals we work with to make sure once a year that we all work together and bring something beautiful like this.